Mm. And uh, also the uh, okay. the GitHub classroom uh, invitation. And this guide, uh, the Get Started guide, uh, you will see how to um, um, how to get started on GitHub Classroom. Uh, you accept the link, uh, and then you will get um, um, uh, um, your uh, repository, forked repository of the template that we have prepared for you. Um, so, uh, just a second. okay. So this uh, assignment, this next um, uh, session here, um, I'll be talking about uh, how to uh, install the, the DHIS2 uh, command line interface uh, so that you can uh, create a, a DHIS2 application. And uh, you will be following the same steps, uh, like it says here, um, for creating your, your first project. Uh, so the task, this one is basically just to create an application from scratch. It, it doesn't have to have anything, no coding on, um, uh, on the source code. It's just to show you how it works uh, with the command line, the terminal, and how to uh, install all this, um, install the, the, the command line interface and to have the D2 um, um, CLI on, on your uh, machine uh, globally installed. Uh, so you would need uh, Node.js and Yarn. Um, and you uh, will uh, use, will you run this command and I'll show you in a little bit. I'm just gonna go over uh, the document here. Um, to initialize a new DHIS2 application, this is for the assignment. Um, after, um, after I'm done with the demonstration, you can uh, go ahead and um, and create a branch. Um, there is more information on the get started guide uh, that I uh, that I just showed you. Um, so I'm going to share this this link as well. Uh, sorry, so you can follow along uh, if you like. Uh, okay, so then. Um, before you, uh, okay, so cr to create an, an application, you will need um, to install the D, uh, DHIS2 uh, command line interface. And to, to learn more about it, you can uh, check uh, the documentation uh, from the uh, developer portal site. Uh, you go to the docs page and uh, the tutorials, it says get familiar with the DHS2 command line uh, interface and it will take you to the documentation here. Um, now, once you um, install the CLI, uh, you will get um, a number of uh, utilities um, or modules. I, I, I Austin mentioned uh, during his uh, presentation um, we will focus on uh, the D2 app scripts uh, here for creating um, a new application. Uh, but just so you know, there are other um, uh, commands here that you can uh, run. For example, the D2 cluster, this will uh, uh, create um, or yes, uh, spin up uh, DHS2 uh, instance. Um, and you can have that locally uh, on your machine. Um, so yeah, just know that this, uh, this uh, commands here exist. And just to um, go back to the uh, document, um, to create an application, we will run this, I'll show you in a bit again. Um, and this section here is uh, optional. Um, you could, um, if you want to just follow the, um, uh, make sure that you uh, follow the DHS2 style guidelines. If you want to, it's, it's, uh, it's not required, but this will, um, um, uh, yeah, so th this will check uh, if everything is, is okay with uh, your, uh, with the style of JavaScript and uh, it will be, uh, checking if everything is okay, basically. 
um, then you can um, add uh, some scripts to your uh, package.json file uh, and, and run this uh, commands. Um, and then I will show you how to uh, get started um, and connect your application to the server. And then um, you can also read on how to submit your assignment um, here. And if you have any questions, um, please uh, in interrupt me now or, or later. Um, we, uh, yeah, you, you don't have to do this assignment right now, um, but, um, uh, okay, I'll just uh, demonstrate um, on the command line. So, okay, installing the DHS2 uh, command line. So I already have it uh, on my um, on my computer. Uh, so you will just uh, uh, do this and uh, yeah, it will install uh, globally on, on your machine. Um, so if you want to know more about um, the commands that are available, you can run D2 help. Um, and you will see here that um, it will give you more information about the commands that you can run and that are available to you. Um, so, um, yeah, so if you have accepted the, the invitation link on the, um, um, on the uh, GitHub Classroom, uh, you, will, you will go to workshop one, um, you will go to the directory uh, environment setup, and this is where you will be uh, adding a new application. Uh, but before you do that, you will need to create a branch, like I said, um, there's more information on how to do that. Um, you will um, be, uh, yeah, so let's say that I create an application. I am already on the um, environment setup directory. And then I run uh, D2 uh, app scripts in it, um, my app. And this, this will be, oh, sorry. Um, So I already, I already have one. This will, uh, I, sorry, this is, uh, okay, let's just uh, test up. Um, now um, it's, it's downloading. Okay, so if you're familiar with uh, React scripts, uh, this is the same thing. Um, now it's um, uh, creating uh, an application um, of the app platform uh, application and it's um, installing uh, everything that you need. Um, for example, the app runtime and um, um, and I forget um, I, for, I forget a second thing. The CLI app scripts itself. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Austin. Um, this is going to take some time and <laughs> my computer is very slow. Um, yeah, so in the meantime, if you have any questions, please uh, just uh, unmute yourself. And uh, I can see a comment. Okay. I have uh, allowed people to unmute themselves if they'd like to. Yes. The start the local host uh, 3000. Gonna take some time. Um, yeah. So I'll show you in the meantime uh, how it's supposed to look <laughs> once uh, it uh, it renders. Um, so you will see this uh, page here. 
Okay. Um, we have provided um, a link to um, to the um, to a DHS2 uh, instance uh, on the cloud, and it's here for the academy. Uh, so you can just um, um, enter that um, on, on the server when it's, it's asking for it. And then you log in with admin and uh, district as your password. And you should be able to see um, this uh, screen here. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it to, to, to get uh, set up for, for developing your um, application. Now, um, if you are running into uh, some issues, I have um, provided um, a guide on how to, uh, and this is also part of the uh, live instance debugging uh, section of, the, of, the, of my presentation. Um, so if you can't log in, um, probably if you check, um, um, if you check on your console and then you're having some ugly <laughs> course policy issues, um, then there are a few things that uh, you could do uh, to, to see if, uh, to, to solve this uh, problem and, and connect. Um, I, you can also go over this uh, guide that has more details about this, but um, there is a, a concept on um, DHS2 that's called a course whitelist. Um, it's already set up now for the uh, ISTA, so it should, it should work. Um, and I am just going to uh, show you very quickly how to, um, um, how to do it if you if you're um, uh, spinning up a DHS2 instance um, that is not uh, this one uh, on your own, just so you know that it exists. Uh, so you go to the apps uh, icon here and you find the uh, system settings. Um, and there's an, um, uh, an option uh, on the sidebar access. Uh, if you scroll down, you will see uh, here it says course uh, whitelist. And this is where you will be adding um, the URLs uh, that uh, you, would need, you would need to connect. So this is to grant access basically to the URLs. Uh, so now we have a wildcard here, so it's, um, allowing everyone uh, to, um, uh, it's allowing every URL basically. So this is set up and that's why I was uh, saying that it should work. Um, but normally um, um, it, it would just say uh, localhost and then the, um, yeah, the, the port number. And uh, yeah, so, Another, another thing that you could do, um, it's um, to set uh, the same site uh, by default uh, cookies to disabled. Um, and you can check uh, this, um, this uh, debug um, guide uh, to, 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 to disable that, uh, but it's uh, only, only when you're de uh, developing that's <laughs> recommended. Um, you can check a blog uh, that Austin uh, had, had written about it uh, to learn more. Um, or uh, disabling uh, your uh, cache. Um, and hopefully that will work. Um, I, I don't know if you have tried it, um, uh, Robert? Yeah, Robert, my guess would be that it's the Chrome cookies setting for you. I don't know if you're using Chrome. But... Yes, uh, yes, I'm using Chrome. Uh, however, I'm still trying to install the CLI, so probably I'll, uh, I'll follow through all these things once that installation is done. My okay. computer also is quite very slow, so it will really take some time. So uh, I'll follow through this, uh, this debug guide once that installation is complete. Okay, that's good. All right, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so once you start uh, your application, then uh, you are ready to submit. Uh, just uh, if you have the directory, uh, you then follow this uh, instructions. Um, we are asking that uh, you um, 
uh, create a new branch uh, and work on this one. You, you call the your branch the same as the assignment name, and then you open a pull request, and uh, we will review uh, those uh, PRs, and then after that you will be able to merge to your uh, main. So we we're doing this so so you get familiar with the development workflow uh, as well. Um, if you're familiar with uh, this development process, it should be uh, uh, fairly straight, straightforward. If not, then it's just, it's um, it's it's an important uh, skill to uh, to learn. Um, and then then that's it for the for the first assignment. Um, Please uh, just ask any questions that you have about this. And uh, we look forward to receiving your uh, PRs. Uh, this is not much, uh, but we will get into um, um, more complex exercises for the UI library. Uh, and that will be more interesting, but this is just to show you how, how you do it. And it will be useful uh, for, for when you start um, creating your projects. Um, Deborah, I think we have a question here from someone. Yes. Um, please, what should we do in case we install at dhs2 slash Glee, but still getting D2 command not found on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, please? It's also in Slack. I put it there. Um, I would have to check this. So I think it probably has to do with um, your path on Ubuntu, um, potentially. Um, you can also use um, NPX to run it directly if, the, if you're not able to install the global CLI or if that's having trouble. So on the um, platform documentation, um, I can share the link. Um, it has a, an, an alternative that lets you use NPX to run the same command without installing anything globally on your system. Um, I believe this system probably, you'd need to add uh, your yarn global bin to the path for Ubuntu. I don't know exactly how you've uh, set that up or, or installed yarn, um, but I'll share the link for platform as well. Maybe that will be helpful. Yeah, thank you, Austin. Are there any other questions?